everybody. I'm Natalie Horton. And I'm Todd Weatherill. And welcome to another fun episode of Get, Get Out. Out. So we're kind of earth tone drab color, huh? I'm earth tone. You look like you came out of the Civil War or the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Well, I'm not a lonely heart, I'll tell you that. But I do have to have my strict military guard because to keep you in line. Uh, to get up early, you're going to have to have some caffeine. Yeah, well, I had my caffeine. I don't know about you. I'm going to a cool place, a brand new <gasps> place here. Oh, cool. What's it called? I'm not telling. Just oh. go watch. One of the coolest things about Santa Monica is all the little places to hang out. You want to hang out with friends, tell a story or two, maybe get a Java? There's a new place right here on Marine in Maine called Espresso Cielo. We're going to go in and check the place out. Let's go get a coffee. We're actually sitting here with Diane, the owner of Expresso Cielo, and we're in the belly of this beautiful coffee house. This has quite a neat feel to it. What was the inspiration for opening this place? My husband and I go to cafes all the time, and we were finding that there are very few places to get really good coffee. And so the inspiration came from sitting in a small cafe in Westwood and thinking, we could do this. Tell me about the response from the community. When you open this place, it seems to be rushed all the time. Uh, there's a lot of people in here. There's always a lot of people in here. We don't just offer customer service, but we be, it's like we're all friends. And we're a very sort of community-based neighborhood cafe. Well, it is a special place, without a doubt. And you know what will make it more special? Is if I could make an espresso. That would make my day. You gonna go teach me? Absolutely. Let's go. So Nicole, you're gonna teach me how to make some espresso? Yes. I what am. makes a good espresso? Alright, well first we're gonna start with our epic espresso, which is a blend of Ethiopian, El Salvador, and Brazilian coffees. So first we empty our porta fillers on our knock box. We clean yeah, it feel out. free to just knock that as hard as you want. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good for getting out aggression. And then fill it with the espresso, making sure to evenly distribute it. is in the portafiller. You want to take our tamp. Oh, it smells incredible. And add about 30 to 50 pounds of pressure. And we time our shots for 25 seconds each. And let it pour. It smells rich, that's amazing. Yeah, go ahead, take a sip. Wow. Nice and complex, fruity, chocolatey. That's amazing. The people that come in here that know that you do a little bit more of connoisseuring, if you will, of coffee, do they like the information? Do you guys give that out to them? Um, we give it out willingly, of course. Uh, we usually, if people ask, we, you know, we're a wealth of information. We like to have all of our employees and baristas be well trained and know a lot about the espresso. And uh, yeah, people are very interested. I think there's a great coffee culture that's growing here in Los Angeles. Well, now. do me a favor, you gotta make like one of every drink for us. So we're gonna sit down and wait for you to bring them out. <laughs> okay, sounds All good, right. awesome. Thank you, Diane. Oh my gosh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? How do they do that? That's what we should have learned, right? Espresso. Cielo's right here on the corner of Marine and Main at 3101 Main Street, right here in Santa Monica. So if you wanna come in, hang out, have a cup of coffee and maybe learn a two thing about beans, come on down and check these guys out. place was so cool. I found a new hangout. Pretty I, neat place to hang out, right? So beautiful too inside. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now I'm jacked up on caffeine. I got to run some energy off. <laughs> well, good thing because I'm about to go to Jocelyn Park. Do you want to come with me? I can. What are we going to do? Well, I'm thinking about shooting a few hoops. Booyah! Get that weak stuff out of here. Please, you haven't seen me play. Okay. That's correct. Mm -hmm. She stands higher than she jumps. Whatever. You'll see. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Karen with the City of Santa Monica. We're here at the beautiful Joslyn Park. Thank you so much for coming out and talking with me. Sure. So this park is beautiful. Santa Monica has so many gorgeous parks, but I had actually never been to this one. So why is this one different? Well, it was a former estate okay. that was made available to the city through a purchase back in the 1950s. And I think what makes it unique is that it sits on a hill in yeah. Santa Monica and it has, in a very small park, two and a half acres, there's a lot to do. And I know you guys also have an auditorium and like different classes that happen here, right? The park has an auditorium, it's called Joslyn Hall, and there are two community rooms in the auditorium in the building as well as a kitchen. We have a, an off-leash dog area and there's two separate areas, one for small dogs and one for big dogs. It was recently renovated, there is some new shade trees, drinking fountains for the dogs and the people, some play equipment for the dogs. 
new benches. Oh, yeah, they're hooked up here. Just recently refurbished. So if people want to get more information about the park, where can they go? Well, they should check out the class schedule in the Santa Monica seascape that okay. will be coming out soon, and they can always check the city's website. Perfect. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm going to go have some fun, and I'll let you go on with your day. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. All right. Todd has no clue who he's dealing with. All right, I am from Tar Heel Country, basketball country, and I'm going to show him who's boss. That's a double dribble, by ah! the way. <laughs> hey! Game of pig? You want to play a game of pig? Let's play pig and see who, who's the best. We okay. get to call the other one a oinker. Yeah, well, we know who the oinker is. Oh, air ball, air ball. Air air ball. ball. Nothing's going in. You know what her qualifications in basketball are? She was a cheerleader. Let's get fired up. <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh! No camera tricks, guys. I made it. <sighs> oh, so close. Yet so far away. Nice. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh! Yes. All right, Todd. This is how it's done. Half court. Like that's even fair. <laughs> Good game, pal. <laughs> that was fun. Should we do a little hacky sack? You really want to play hacky sack? I do, because I'm not very good and I feel bad, I'm so sure I'll let do you Do you want to do something? <laughs> All right, let's do that. Hacky it up. I love Jocelyn Park. You still sink at Hackensack. I guess it's a partnership. Touche. Wow, what a hidden talent you have. Thank you. Hey, I was good. I love basketball. <laughs> I'm a Tar Heel. When they say dribble, they don't mean dribble from the mouth. That's on the Whatever, ground, Todd. just to get that quite clear. So what are you going to do next? I'm going to go do some yoga. I need to zen out after all that frustration of you not hitting the rim. <laughs> anyway, I heard this yoga place, though, isn't all about zen. It's about power. It and is. Sweating. And yeah. And they've got some cool music there, too. How's it all mixed? I don't know. I don't know, but you're not cool, but you're going. What do you get when you cross East and West, yoga and hip hop? I have no idea, but we're gonna go talk to our friend Matthew and he's gonna show us how. So I'm standing here with Matthew Reyes, one of the owners here at Yoga Hop, and this is not your traditional yoga studio. Tell us how it started and uh, where it came from. Well, we start with traditional yoga here at Yoga Hop, but then we add a lot of music. So I like to say it's East meets West. So the Eastern side is you have yoga, you're opening your body up, you're getting in that traditional open poses, moving your body, but then the Western side is you've got artists like 50 Cent, Janet Jackson, Eminem, Justin Timberlake to fuel the music and the soundtrack to our Yoga Hop classes. Tell me about some of the classes that you offer here. We have a really rigorous workout-based class. When I was teaching yoga, I was listening to people's feedback and they said, I want cardio, I want strength training, I want to open my body up, and I want to feel relaxed at the same time. And how can I do all those things without spending five hours of my day in doing various activities? And I said, I'm going to create something, Yoga Hop, that has all those things in one. And that's what this is. Tell me this, you said earlier that it was mixed with power yoga. Yeah. Can any level do this? Can brand new beginners come in here and see some success to it? Right. Here's the thing. We decided to just use power poses that anyone can do. So when you step into class in a few minutes, you'll see that the poses are strong, but being athletic, you'll be able to do them. And we take out the poses that are going to isolate people that aren't that flexible or aren't that strong. Very good. Well, I think I'm going to go get into some yoga clothes and uh, I'm going to get going yes, now. Yes, we are. This should be fun. Give me the, give me the, give me the. Yoga hop. That's really fun. You mix the music with some of the poses and you can do pretty much anything you want here to stay in shape. This place is awesome. Check them out online at yogahop.com or you can get them here at 1612 Montana right here in Santa Monica. Todd, you were great actually and the hip hop was awesome. I'm oh, quite oh. the yogi. Yes, you are with some rhythm there. Yep. Well, I've worked up an appetite just watching you do yoga, so. Right on, where are we going to eat? Well, you're not going anywhere, but I'm gonna go to this really cool new place on Pico, and I'm gonna start calling it Triple B. Are you insinuating that non-cool people can't go? 
<laughs> well, anyone can go but you. Triple B, babes, beach, bar. I nope. don't get it. You're going to have to wait and see. I guess so. <laughs> It's that time again. Yes, it is lunchtime. I am starving and ready to take a big old bite at Bite Bar and Bakery. Oh, I love cookbooks. I can always use a few pointers. No doubt about that. Ooh. Frog legs? A little weird. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm with Elizabeth, the executive chef and owner of Bite Bar and Bakery. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? Great. I love this place in here. It's so bright. You have awesome decor. I'm so excited to be here. Thank so you. what exactly was your inspiration behind this place? Um, I've actually been a caterer for the last few years in Santa Monica, and it's been a long-term dream of mine to open my own place where we can showcase our pastries and our talents and do sort of a wine bar concept with our signature small bites. Mm. So this is that dream come true. Yeah, congrats. And, and you guys you. are fairly new in the area here on Pico. We're so excited to have you. Very new. We're really excited to be here. Yeah, so you guys do have wonderful pastries mm -hmm. and breakfast dishes, but you also just started opening for lunch, right? Tell me about that. We do a great lunch. It's all seasonal, organic. Everything is homemade. And it's a little bit of everything. There's something for vegetarians, some things for vegans, and of course, Plenty of stuff for people who like meat. So. Yes, absolutely. Very cool. So what kind of crowd are you guys getting in here? Are you getting lots of locals from the Pico area? A or? lot of locals. Yeah. Um, a lot of kind of young foodie types. You see a lot of people taking pictures of their plates oh, you yeah. know, and, <laughs> and twittering about it, which is really exciting to see that level of interaction happening with the food. That's wonderful. Um, and then a lot of folks who have just lived here for a long time who are excited to have a new place to sort of hang out in. Okay, well, I'm salivating now and starving. So am I going to get to go back and maybe help make a Reuben? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, I got my chef's coat on. Elizabeth, I am ready to make this Reuben. You ready to go? Yes, okay, I'm hungry. So first, we're gonna start with our rye bread. Oh, I love rye bread. Which we source from a local bakery. Okay. So you're gonna take your Russian dressing. Uh-huh. And we're gonna be nice and generous with it. We're gonna put it on both sides, on the inside. And then we're gonna take our corned beef. Ooh, hoo -hoo. We make our own corned beef. They're not messing around here. We're not messing around. You yeah. You get your corned beef when you come to buy it. Get your money's worth here, guys. Fresh sliced cheese. Okay. And then we also make our own sauerkraut. We call this sexy food. <laughs> it does look sexy, especially with the hot pink. And then we take more Russian dressing. Oh my gosh, that's great. So we use our panini press and we get it nice and toasty. And it's okay that the dressing's on the side? It's totally or cool. on that. Okay, of course, more Russian dressing, perfect. Oh, and there we go. You guys hear it sizzling? So we'll give that a few minutes. I and then I'll bring it out to you. Thank you, Elizabeth, this looks so good. All right, this place is definitely not just a bakery. Look at this, Reuben. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my, whoa. That is amazing. You guys, the flavors are so well put together and the cheese is just melting. Mm, you were gonna love this, I just know it. And my beautiful Arnold Palmer. You guys, when I come down here to Bite Bar and Bakery, they are located at 3221 Pico Boulevard, right across from the Trader Joe's or you can find them on the web at bitebar.com. I'm gonna keep enjoying my lunch. See you soon. Right on, pretty yeah. cool place. You bring me a doggy bag? I did not, I'm sorry. Although you are a dog, but that Reuben was so mm -hmm. good, you and guys. She's a bag. <laughs> <laughs> That was classic. That was actually pretty was funny. I have That's to give it to you. all the time we have, though, today. It is, but thank you guys so much for joining us for another fun episode of... Get, get out! out! Now get out! You get out! Oh, you dog! <laughs> <laughs>